Hi, Dr. Weiner. Thank you for answering my question. My question is to you. I had a VSG done two years ago, uh, weighing 240, size 24 in pants. I'm 5'6". I am now at 160, and I wear a size 4. I need to lose 15 pounds, and I'm at a really bad stall. I recently started running 3 to 4 miles. I have a very low-carb diet and no processing food, but I do eat a lot of protein. I've embarked upon a really bad sweet tooth chocolate. How do I kick that? How do I um, get the skill from moving? And also, I do throw up when I get nervous or I have a bad day or I just sometimes can't hold the food down. So what would you recommend me to do to change that and correct that? All right, a lot going on in this question. This person is 240 pounds, lost 80 pounds after a sleeve. They're now two years out. That's pretty good. I mean, that's, I think that's really good weight loss. Um, they want to lose 15 more. The truth is, I, I think it's unlikely that they're going to. And that's something that is a really difficult thing to, to kind of understand and to grasp. Um, but it's also so important because if you don't recognize that, you put yourself at risk for a much more common problem, and that's weight regain. So once you reach your lowest weight after surgery, in that one to two year mark, when you've kind of finally hit that bottom number and the weight loss stops, um, that generally is the lowest that you're going to go for the remainder of your life. And that is something that a lot of people struggle with and a lot of people say, well, then I'm going to exercise and diet more and I'll lose more, right? No, when you start to eat really well and you start to exercise, what that does is it helps you maintain your weight loss. And the greatest threat, without question, we're, we'll see 20 people regain weight after surgery for every one person who might lose a little bit of additional weight. So if you kind of reach this weight, what I would say to this person is first I would bring up my, my Michigan BSC calculator and I would kind of show them that they probably have done better than average. I'd say this is your weight. This is where you should be. This is your healthy weight. This number you have in your head, that's, that's a, a fantasy number that isn't going to bring you additional happiness. And it's not going to bring you additional health. And uh, instead, what we have to do is kind of cherish this new lower weight that you've managed to achieve and come up with a strategy that's going to allow you to succeed over the long run. And I think the first and most important thing is to stop and be grateful for the 80 pounds that you've lost and stop focusing on the 15 that in your mind you haven't lost. Uh, and instead, focus on a pro uh, an unprocessed whole foods plant-based diet Maybe not so much protein. You're, you're at a stable weight. You're 160 pounds. You want to lose weight. You don't need to consume large amounts of protein. Protein's for muscle building and for you know, gaining strength. It, eating lots of protein doesn't cause weight loss. In fact, eating lots of animal protein causes lots of weight gain. Also start looking at this sweet tooth and kind of taking early steps. You need to be in touch with your, with your surgeon or your bariatrician and talking about maybe a medication like Contrave to help you with these sweet um, uh, cravings. Perhaps you're consuming a lot of artificial sweeteners because you're on a low carb diet and that's kind of fueling your chocolate um, cravings. So there's a lot going on here and I think it's, it's, it, this is so incredibly common and it's one of the reasons I'm really dead set against this idea of a goal weight based on a BMI of 25 or some you know, life insurance table that someone once saw telling them what they should weigh. They should weigh what the surgery generally provides on average. And they should, once they get to that weight, they should, should cherish that weight and work to protect it rather than trying to continue to lose additional weight.